Hello everyone. Today, I will introduce the 3D control point report function in LiDAR 360. This function provides two check types, elevation and XYZ. When you want to check elevation errors, you can choose elevation. When you want to check 3D errors and set up targets, you can choose XYZ. Click 3D control point report function in the pre-processing module. There are two check types in the interface. If you select elevation, this function will generate an elevation error report between point cloud and GCPs. This helps verify the elevation accuracy of point cloud and can be used for elevation adjustment. If you select XYZ, the tool will calculate both elevation and XY errors based on automatically identified target positions and generate a report of elevation and XY errors between point cloud and GCPs. Let's see the elevation check type at first. Click OK. Initial categories are defaulting to all available classes for checking elevation accuracy. Load the control points file. Configure the column numbers for X, Y, Z coordinates and skip lines according to your data specifics. Click Apply to load data for each control point. Z tolerance means the precision in the Z direction of the point cloud, defaulting to 0.15. Max slope means the maximum terrain slope tolerance, defaulting to 45 degrees, which can be set according to actual situation. Max triangle length helps mitigate large deviations caused by elevation interpolation, defaulting to 20 meters. DZ limit sets the tolerance for DZ, defaulting to three. Error above the range will be highlighted in red, indicating significant elevation differences between point cloud and GCPs. After parameter setup, click Calculate to compute elevation errors. Here you can view the calculation results. Result format is TXT, with elevation error and other statistic informations. Based on the calculation result, the elevation check also provides four transformation options for fitting geoid models. Plane fitting, polynomial curve fitting, quadric surface fitting, and trigonometric fitting. You can choose to compute or save the fitting model based on control points. Next, let's see the operations of XYZ check type. Select target type, defaulting to black-white checkboard. Target size defaults to one meter. If target type is selected as circle, the target size refers to the diameter. Click OK. Load control point file, set column and skip lines according to your data. Click Apply. Correlation coefficient between point cloud and target defaults to 0.8. DXY and DZ constraints are tolerance limits. Data outside these tolerances will display in red. After importing control points, click Identify Target by Control Points to begin recognizing targets based on control point positions. View results of target identification from control points. If a target is not identified, use the Draw Target Point tool. Adjust correlation parameters between point cloud and target. Manually identify target center position in viewer. Double click on unrecognized target to locate its position directly. At this point, display point cloud by intensity to visualize black white checkboard target type. For inaccurately drawn targets, 
choose Delete Target and Redraw. Additionally, for imprecisely recognized targets, use Modify Target to fine tune drawn target position. Finally, export TXT format control point report, which including elevation error, XY error of point cloud, and other statistic information. As I mentioned earlier, the elevation check type provides four calculation modes for computing the geoid model based on calculation results. In addition, the X and Y Z check type offers four parameter computation, seven parameter computation, 3D, affine transformation, and linear transformation. Finally, fitting model calculations or saving fitting models can be performed based on control points as needed. Above is the complete introduction to the 3D control point report function. Thank you for watching.